What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kitartcore and welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and today I am talking about more about the updates uh, that we got on Tuesday. Uh, I'm not going to go into complete detail uh, about every single one, uh, every little thing. I'm just going to do a quick rundown, kind of like what I did uh, with the last 1.15 update uh, video. Um, and uh, keep in mind, this is still 1.15. Uh, it's just like the second half of the update that uh, is like on Tuesday. Um, but pretty much what we got uh, is that the Shamrock and All event is now live in multiplayer Blackout and Zombies for Xbox and PC. Um, so that that means uh, we are able to go to Blackout, find the pots of gold, you know, etc., um, or the homunculus, um, for the loot and all that in Blackout, we can go to zombies and, uh, kill the freaking, uh, green-eyed zombies for a free homunculus leprechaun, um, which is pretty cool. So pretty much, like, uh, for Xbox and PC, we officially got Shamrock and all, the entire, uh, thing. Uh, and then the Cha-Ching and Secret Santa melee, um, weapons have been, uh, buffed for the range. Um, uh, I, I believe that the range has been increased for both those weapons. Um, and then they finally fixed the pause and play fix, um, in theater mode. Yeah, they, uh, so in case you guys didn't know, um, in theater mode, uh, the pause and play button wasn't working as well as um the uh the setback you know trying to kind of rewind uh to a certain spot that you want uh so they uh th they fix those uh i and um so i'm i'm happy about that for multiplayer uh the St. Patrick's stuck pile has been added uh to the featured playlist for Xbox and PC um so pretty much uh you guys if, if you guys didn't um uh, realize that uh half of these updates um are just gonna be with Xbox One and PC pretty much getting um the second half of um of the Shamrock and All uh event uh that PS4 got a week before. So what a, you know uh, and then again for multiplayer, the stockpile, not the St. Patrick stockpile, but the regular stockpile has been added to the features play, uh, featured playlist on PS4. So um, as far as I'm concerned, PS4 players cannot play um, St. Patrick stockpile anymore. They just have stockpile now, um, which is okay. Um, the mercenary objective mosh pit, hardcore mosh pit, one in a chamber and domination added to the featured category. Uh, this is for all consoles, uh, which pretty much means that these are all in the featured playlists. Um, so nothing too big there. Uh, mercenary objective mosh pit, uh, hardcore mosh pit, one in the chamber and objective mosh pit added to the featured category on the PC. Um, so it's pretty much the same thing with the consoles, except, you know, like one, Freaky uh, game mode different, uh, whatever. Uh, Deathmatch, Mosh Pit, Playlist, Split into separate TDM and Kill Confirm playlists on PC. Um, I don't know why they would do that. I, I, I don't know really, like, why this would affect, but that, uh, that's only for the PC, so that, I'm not gonna be worried too much about that. Now back, uh, now we're gonna go into Blackout. Uh, the Hardcore mode has been added to the feature playlist on Xbox One and PC. So we now, again, we are getting the rest of the updates that PS4 has gotten a week early before the Xbox and PC players. So therefore, you know, we now have the hardcore mode uh, in the feature playlist. Uh, same with the homunculus, leprechaun, and pot of gold and the seasonal Easter egg added for Xbox One and PC. Same with those. Uh, you can go around the map and um, of blackout and find a pot of gold so far i have found one pot of gold uh and i think i'm just gonna go to that one location every fucking game now and just hope that it just spawns there and 
you know, get as much paint cans as I can. Um, so, uh, the contraband stashes, uh, featuring cap 45 rampage and switchblade X nine has been added to Xbox one and PC. Now, again, um, uh, in the same area that I found the pot of gold, I went, uh, like the freaking next game, I went to back to that same area and, uh, just found a, um, a, um, what you call them? Like, like those like little small ammo crates, whatever you call them. And, um, and had the cat 45 and the switchblade. I took the switchblade and, uh, didn't really get a chance to test it out, see how good it is, but, you know, Whatever. Uh, they have reduced the number of players required to auto-start quads, duos, and solo matches on PC from 100 to 80 for faster match start times. So, what this pretty much means is that instead of waiting for 100 players to be in the lobby for a quad, uh, duos, or solo game to start, um, you will now have to wait for 80 people to be in the lobby to start the match, which is... Uh, really, really nice, actually, to, you know, get into the game faster. It's really nice. Um, they've also reduced the number of players required to auto-start... Uh, wait. Uh, they have also, um, added, uh, Hot Pursuit. Um, well, they didn't add Hot Pursuit, uh, Hot Pursuit, but they are gonna keep Hot Pursuit for all consoles and PC... Um, you know, just, just, it's just going to continue on all platforms. Um, so that's just pretty much it. For zombies, Helcatraz Gauntlet has been added to Xbox One and PC. Uh, and I've heard that this is the hardest gauntlet that has ever been released so far. Um, so I will have to try that out sometime. Um, the Green Eyed Zombies, uh, and new seasonal Easter egg has been added to Xbox One and PC. Again, this is the small Easter egg to where you kill the Green Eyed Zombies, um, in a specific order, uh, like wherever that green orb goes to the next zombie, and next, and next, and next, until the Mystery, uh, Mystery Box Light turns, uh, into a rainbow, and you get a free Homunculus Leprechaun. Uh, so that's pretty much what it is. Uh, temporarily removed the new yeah, map I'm playlist on PC to prepare for the release of Ancient Evil. Again, something that we don't have to worry about because it's only on PC. Um, but yeah. And then uh, they fixed, uh, it says stability fix for Dead of the Night. And this is, uh, this was because there was uh, an error or a crash that could occur when people were trying to complete the steak knife quest. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I have no idea. Um, and you know, that, that's, that's roughly about it. Um, and also for PS4, uh, something big did drop, uh, which is the replacer bundle. Uh, which we're is gonna call that, we're gonna call that 1,100 COD points. So it's not that it's not that much. You get the replacer um, character to play as in the blackout mode, uh, as well as you will receive a um, a signature weapon for the swordfish, which looks fucking beautiful. It looks sick as hell, uh, which you know might convince me to actually buy it. And then you get five tier progressions. Um, there was a bug a little bit before, like earlier on Tuesday where there would be people on PS4, um, that would be getting, uh, like the freaking, uh, the replacer, the swordfish, and the five tiers with an additional 10, uh, reserve crates, and then it also jacked up the price to 2,400 card points, but I believe that they fixed that. Uh, to where it doesn't include the 10 reserve crates and now it's been reduced to 1100 card points. So, um, that was the thing. Uh, but that is pretty much it for, uh, this update video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, kick the hell that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in my future videos. And until then, remember, when in doubt, zigzag it out.